Se știe deja că stresul cotidian are o influență majoră asupra sănătății noastre fizice și psihice. Depresia, anxietatea sau anumite boli inflamatorii pot fi cauzate de acest flagel al secolului 21. Și mai grav, fără să ne dăm seama, transferăm aceste probleme și asupra copiilor. Care sunt adevăratele costuri ale stresului și cum ar trebui să-l gestionăm, aflăm dintr-un interviu eveniment cu psihoterapeutul Gabor Mate. Deși mulți consideră că efectele stresului se limitează la spațiul mental, ele s-au dovedit distrugătoare și la nivel fiziologic. Studiile de specialitate au scos la iveală liste întregi de tulburări cauzate sau favorizate de stres. There's been lots of studies on multiple sclerosis, on rheumatoid arthritis, on cancer. So it's not a theory that I have. There's a science, you know, that's not even it's absolutely proven. And not only the connections, but even physiologically how those connections work because stress and trauma cause inflammation in the body. And stress and trauma change how the genes work. And stress and trauma age the chromosomes. The chromosomes get older and sicker, faster. There's multiple ways in which emotional stress and trauma lead to physical illness. It's not a theory. Okay, I mean, it's a theory, but it's a theory that reflects reality. Vremurile pe care le traversăm nu ajută, ci din potrivă, cred specialiștii. Pandemia, războiul, crizele și instabilitatea financiară sunt surse suplimentare de stres, așa că ne putem aștepta și la o explozie a numărului de îmbolnăviri. We already living in a very stressful society, a very traumatized society, then you add an extra stress. It's going to make people worse. Not everybody. Depends on what resources they have and how together they were in the first place, but for a lot of people, it's going to be a source of major stress, not to mention the ongoing insecurity about it, the economic you know, consequences, um, the setbacks in education. It's going to be hard. I think we're going to see, we already are seeing, and we're going to see even more mental health problems as a result. Un alt efect al stresului este dependența. Alcoolul, tutunul, drogurile sau anumite tipuri de medicamente sunt utilizate de multe ori în exces, tocmai pentru a găsi o cale de evadare dintr-o situație stresantă. Doar anul trecut, în Statele Unite, peste 100.000 de, de persoane au murit din cauza supradozei de droguri, iar cifrele sunt în creștere de la an la an. If we realize that addictions are not a disease genetically, but their response to stress and trauma, <clears throat> then the more stress that you see in a society, the more addiction you expect to see. And that's what we're seeing. Society, you know, much more stressed now because people are economically very uncertain. The, certainly in the States, the American working class have lost their jobs. They've gone overseas. The jobs have, I mean. Yeah. People don't have a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning. They feel more under threat. If you talk to anybody that uses drugs or any kind of addictive behavior or alcohol, it's to escape some kind of stress or pain. The more pain there is, the more stress there is, the more addiction you're going to see. Și mai grav este faptul că scade vârsta la care apar aceste probleme. Gabor Mate consideră că în mod inconștient de vină sunt adulții și societatea în care trăim. Why is that happening? Not because the kids are sick, but because the parents are stressed. And when the parents are very stressed, the children don't get the kind of sense of security and safety and being accepted and being understood. Not because the parents don't love them, but because the parents are too stressed to be emotionally present for their children. And that means the kids are going to be anxious and depressed. They have trouble paying attention. They may not behave very well. So instead of trying to fix the kids, we need to fix the environment. Celebrul psihoterapeut spune că soluția pentru aceste probleme nu este deloc complicată. Trebuie mai întâi să acceptăm faptul că suntem prinși într-un vârtej din care putem ieși dacă cerem ajutor. First of all, they should realize that if they do have a problem like depression or anxiety or an addiction, it's not because they're bad people. It's not because they're somehow 
flawed or mm, guilty is because they've suffered and that the anxiety and the depression and the addiction are all as a result of some kind of trauma that happened to them. And that if they work with that trauma, if they get some help, if they talk about their emotions, they can probably work it through. But they should realize that it's not their fault. But there's something they can do about it. Those are the two big things.